Hello everyone. This is a pretty long guide for the entirety of the AgroProm um, underground quest line in the AgroProm um, Research Institute area. Um, this video is going to be pretty long because um, it's hard to like split up these quests into different like videos. So I'm just going to do it the whole goddamn quest in one video. So um, I apologize. If it, I apologize if it's a little like wonky at times or um, things don't make sense. I'm just I'm, I'm going to try to do the best I can. So. Um, so to start this quest line, you have to go to the Agriprom under uh, the Agriprom factory right here, and um, there will be this guy Yuri, um, who will be um, yelling to come help him. And in here, you'll find a mutant called a Domavoy, and once you kill it, I have another video explaining how to kill it. If you're having trouble with it, you're able to talk with him. And let's see what he says. Everything good. Few, seems like that's some for the help. Name's Yuri. I'm a local scout and some little exposition and pressing why not starts the quest line and here we are and you get the first task children of the underground and um uh continuing continuing what where do we start and he will start the first mission called let there be light and so let's do this pretty quickly um you're able to uh you're able to complete let there be light by um going where I am. You want to first go to this truck over here. And you want to uh, inspect it. And right here, you'll see Chief Engineer's Docs folder. Once you pick it up, um, load your gun with the most powerful uh, um, gun you have because you will see something. We have to go to this location now at this truck. And going over here, you will see... Um, a nice little surprise here. I don't see it. <laughs> Entering this truck, you're able to find the next folder right here, which is the electrical diagram. And here. Oh, there it is. Pretty pathetic um, mutant, not gonna lie. And once you get the, uh, the electrical diagram from that truck, you want to go to Yuri, talk about it. Talk to him about it. I think I found something. Hey, осторожнее. And once you talk to him about it, you'll start the new t task. Um, switch the power factory on and to follow what the doll says you want to go over to the um, the substation over here and you want to pick up a special um, item Mod, yes. see the substation right here you want to go near it and inside of these bushes right here you will find a very hidden backpack that contains a, um, a electricity sapphire protective suit make sure to put it on and you want to go to these uh, green circles right here, um, electrical panels, and turn them all on. You want to turn them on at a angle, like what I'm doing, and you'll quickly see why. There we go. Anomalies will spawn, and they will fuck you up. There we are. Turn on the last one quickly. You'll have these anomaly spawn. Do not, do not walk inside. Oh, man, I, I ran out of a. I have God mode on. I guess not. So let's go to the third one right here. Turn it on. And once you turn on the third one, you want to go to these two buttons right here. You want to press this one, activate the pumps, and then you want to press this one right here, and that will uh, complete the task, let there be light. And let's go over to Yuri again, and you want to talk with him, and he'll give you some pretty cool stuff. Let me just deposit some random bullshit into uh, this uh, chest right here. Keep that. Uh, there we go. Car wheel. Random bullcrap. 
There we go. Um, doing that quest will unlock these doors, and you're able to start the. New, uh, you're able to continue to find the key, which can, um, after completing Let There Be Light, you're able to um, access these doors now. You want to go inside, and you're able, you want to uh, avoid this thing right here, or it will shock you to death. You want to avoid it and turn it off right here. There we go. It's destroyed. You can find the diary of the people here if you want to. For some little lore. In a, on Heriton's diary right here, we'll find a code for the box right here called 5784442. 5784442. And inside, you'll find some random junk. And you'll find the uh, thing of note. Let me just, I, I'm not actually, actually, I'm not going to all this shit you'll find a thing of note which is the keys and once you take these keys mutants will spawn so make sure to load up your weapon let me load up my weapon with salt shot here we go there will be a bunch of mutants that spawn so make sure to load up your guns go. Grab the keys. Watch out, Jenkins. Some kind of mutants are heading your way. I'm coming over to help. And I uh, think I, I have a pretty uh, good shotgun, so I'm just going to play Wrecking Crew on these guys. Uh, that was pretty quick. And you'll have um, Yuri come up, up the stairs. It's pretty late to help, really, <laughs> considering how much you killed. And here, you're able to talk with him. I found the keys to the safe that you've been trying to crack. Let's go. And he'll go over to the safe to unlock it. Looks like there's some more mutants downstairs. Let's uh, kill them. Yeah, the, the, the NPC scripting and, like, um, pathfinding is pretty wonky at times, so, uh, oops. I don't remember this many mutant spawning. I guess I had a pretty good mutant spawn when I did, did it first. And... Very well. Go over to the safe to unlock it. Come on, hurry up, Yuri. We just deposit some more bull crap into the chest. There we go. And once he's right here, you're able to search him. I mean, you're able to search a test. I mean, the um, safe. What's wrong? Exposition. And after doing that, he'll unlock the safe. go and you can search it and there's nothing inside because he's already taken it and how's it going i managed to open up the safe i found some construction plants inside and um, from here he'll take you outside i like jumping out the window right here and he'll bring you to the courtyard right here to uh, start the next um task And once he's uh, once he's here, you're able to talk with him. Where to now? Look here. There should be a diagram on the safe. Blah blah blah. And he'll instruct you to um, 
to uh, gun down any people that try to kill him, and he'll give you an SKS. I wouldn't recommend using this weapon to kill people because it'll lose karma, so I'm just going to use a um, this AKS 74BU. And to start the next task, you want to head up here. And you want to, he says he's heading out, you want to stand right here. Make sure not to let him die, and there's only one big obstacle to that um, tries to kill him. And you want to point your gun right here. And there will be a guy that spawns here. I sense evil in this person. Right here. Spawns. He'll try to creep up. You want to shoot at him. He's dead. And in a few seconds, you'll complete the task. You want to stay right here. The scripting in, this, in these missions can be really bad, so... <laughs> That's why I'm making this guide. There we go. Task updated. You want to head back to him. There we go. And once you go to him, um, he'll instruct you to go over to the military base for to find some dynamite. Uh, is there mute militants here? them yeah watch out for any enemy spawns that and watch out for any people that spawn here because they can't kill you pretty easily with their goddamn psi rifles uh looks like that one's trying to do it he's dead let's follow uh, yuri and there will be some boars that spawn here so make sure he doesn't get killed by them I think I already killed them, or they're just not here. Oh, yeah, right here. Make sure to avoid killing them. Um, avoid going down into the ag Agriprom underground any any time before it, it, the game instructs you to, because it may like mess up some scripting in the missions. So just avoid going down into the un Agriprom underground until you're able to officially go down there via this quest. So you want to continue following Yuri. Yuri arrives here. Um, you're, he has new dialogue. Are we? Are we there? Um, and he'll go. He'll instruct you to go find some suits from his hideout. And during this, you want to go to this location right here to find the suits. Vasily's hideout. So make sure to avoid all the uh, um, mutants or anomalies. So let's go to the hideout. You will find the key to the hideout in this rusty bulldozer right here. It's pretty hard to see. It took me a while to find it the first time. Um, you'll see the key uh, where at my cursor is. You see it right next to the, uh, the chair. Scout's key. You want to pick it up. There we go, and you're able to unlock the door with it. And inside of here, um, you'll find a car battery if you need that. But the main attraction is the two suits inside of here, so you want to take them both. I'm going to deposit um, some items in here, and you'll see um, a red Schwartz up here. You could finally get to meet him after all this time. And he'll run off after some little exposition. Make sure to destroy these boxes right here because they contain some pretty good loot. And uh, let's head back to Yuri with uh, scout outfits.
Да, это в точку. Какой смысл? Once you get back, he'll be in this little shack right here. A little outpost, and you're able to give him the suit. I found the hazmat suits. What now? Alright, let's go. Um, I would recommend avoiding fully exploring this place until after the quest line is done, because, like I said, the scripting in this game is pretty um, horrendous. So, uh, just do the main quest line uh, for, for this um, area, and then you can explore afterwards. So, um, here we are. Um, he'll sit right here, and you may think he's bugged because he has no dialogue option, but you can start the, um, you can start the next thing by going over to this body right here, and you'll find Sergeant Chalkin's diary, and that will instruct, and that will, um, instruct you to go over here, and you will see another person right here. Um, you can go over to this building right here, and inside, you will find a, um, a depressed colonel, and if you go up to him, he'll say, what are you doing here? He's talking, he's talking as he's batshit crazy, and to make him have the dialogue option required to, um, make him talk, uh, I need to keep that in mind. Um, you want to, uh, go over to the safe right here, and you want to put an 1840. Um, as it sees, Taishkanov, I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize. Um, he was born in 1840, so, like I said, but in 1840, you've seen plenty of these safes before. And inside, you will find the right shoulder mark, plus some other great items. And in the briefcase right here, you will find a uh, left shoulder mark. And using these two um, uh, unique items, you're able to give, him, give them to the colonel, lieutenant colonel. There you go. Has this is some new dialogue. Finally, I've earned my shoulder straps. I'm going to be Colonel now. And um, after some uh, pretty, after some lore exposition, he will uh, he will pass away after a few seconds. Yeah. After he dies, you're able to um, go to his corpse, and you're, you can pick up Colonel's key. And this can be used to unlock the the locked um, door that Vasily is at. So going to him. Um, you're able to unlock this door now. And all all of these people, um, don't don't try to get the, the PDA coordinates off any of these people because they're all data corrupted, unfortunately. Let's see if I see. I'm just gonna forget about him. And you will find the main attraction on this corpse right here with dynamite. There we go. As you can see, all these, um, all the notes, all the diaries that these people contain have uh, data corrupted. So just don't, just forget about them. Want to go back to Vasily and tell him you found di found dynamite. I don't know why they're storing dynamite at a military base, but you know, here we go. Found the dynamite. All right, let's go back to the slabs covering the entrance. We'll clear it. Let's go. And he'll instruct you to go to, um, he'll take the long way there. Um, there may be a few anomalies he might try to step into, so uh, um, to try to avoid him. As a little addition, this, uh, this corpse right here contains a diary, which opens up the safe in the shack right here, if you want to know that. But it's not important to the quest. Make sure to protect him if there's any like mutants that try to kill him. Like boars, bastards.
especially avoid him here because he'll lead you to this uh, little um, little like a uh, tent right here, and that th there's some anomalies there. So make sure to avoid those. Here we go. And once he, once he arrives here, he'll be stationed right here with no new dialogue. You're not able to interact with him. And you're able to now blow up the, uh, the slabs here. You want to go over here and use the dynamite. Use. There we go. Dynamite is planted. Ten. Nine. I wonder if you could use the dynamite found in Corden. That would be pretty... <laughs> intense. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and the place blows up, and you're now, um, he still doesn't have any dialogue, that's not a bug, just enter the place. And you're now able to enter. And once you're down here, Yuri will come with you, and you're able to talk with him. Everything in order, blah blah blah. And he'll lead you to a locked door. I um I would I would. I'm gonna say this now. I'd recommend um, I would recommend leaving exploring the underground until after this mission is done because this game, like I, as I said many times before, has pretty horrendous scripting and things may break easily. So um, yeah, just avoid uh, avoid searching the place up and down until you after the quest line. So after a short walk, he'll arrive here and he'll have some new dialogue. There's a door. I'm not blind. Can you open it? And you have to find a way to open it. It's locked right here. And searching this corpse will give you the first step to uh, getting the door open, which is this red sphere right here. You want to pick it up, and um, as you can see, there's three uh, there's three doors, and there's one red colored. If you go near it, the ring disappears, and the red sphere disappears from your inventory. You're able to find the two remaining spheres: the blue sphere and the yellow sphere. Uh, the the blue, I think the yellow sphere can be found in this backpack right here. A green sphere, I apologize. And you can find the second you can find the second sphere up on these uh, stairs right here. And in the backpack right here, you're able to find the second one. The blue sphere plus the cobblestone. Make sure to pick that up. You want to go back to um, you want to go back and you want to use these two spheres you found to um, step on the rings. And once you do that, um, th there will be a an an there will be an anomaly that spawns here, and you want to enter it. It'll teleport you down to this hole. You want to pick. Uh, you want to search the body and grab the key card really quickly. I failed at it. Let's do it again. There we go. And we got the key card for the door. Um, now you want to unlock the door using the key card, and uh, Vasily will continue. I mean Yuri. I don't know why I call him Vasily. Yuri. Too many garbage videos. All right. So you want to come down here. Have you much doom? Make sure to avoid all these anomalies. And he'll stop right here, and you'll have no dialogue option, and you'll see why. If you enter, um, we're able to explore the place a little bit, but if you return to him, he'll have this dialogue. Uh, I think I guess I was wrong about that. Let me reload a save. Be right back. All right. After he stops, there'll be some snorks that spawn. So make sure to kill them. They'll spawn right here. Uh, yep. Yeah, you can hear him say that that thing. 
Make sure to kill these snorks that come right there. They're all dead. And once you kill them, the Vasily will continue. Um, like I said, avoid um, ex avoid exploring the underground completely until you're done with the mission. But if you want to um, get a little taste, you're able to go to this box over here and get a unique artifact. The Anomalous Bolt. There you go. And once Vasily has walked right here, you're able to talk with him. Oh, after he inspects the area. Why did you stop? Did you see that big electric motor? Um, there's a fan, and you can maybe get it working. And um, he, he says right here, actually turning on this fan isn't important. We'll find the sample and immediately leave this place. Let's go. And he'll um, just keep this fan in mind. So you will talk. Um, there will be this. There will be this comet anomaly. So make sure to avoid it. There we go. And there will be some snorks that spawn here. So make sure to bring out your shotgun again. You'll hear him yell, like Vra. Oh, yep, yeah, they're right there. They're all dead. The shotgun's some overpowered. Once you kill them all, Vas uh, Yuri will continue. Whenever I say Vasily, I just mean Yuri. And he'll try to pathfind to the next objective. He can get past the snorks. And in the original Gold Sphere, there's apparently something pretty good in this box, but there's uh, nothing here. <laughs> I, sw I swear to God there was an artifact in the original version. I guess it's not here. And once um, once he once he arrives in this room right here, you're able to talk with him. Are we there? Yes, this should be the right room. The path ahead is blocked, but that doesn't matter. Shall we commence the hunt to find the container? And he'll say, go check the big tank. There we go. So you want to go to the big tank um oh i do want to say make sure to um make sure to save your game right here because this this plate this um this part is very notorious for extremely bad pathfinding and scripting so just if something fucks up you're able to reload the save and try it again so you want to go to this big tank right here you want to enter and you want to go inside of this tank and you'll be stuck but don't worry because you'll find the numbered container and you want to wait for Yuri to come up to help you, but do not give him the container, or uh, you'll be soft locked <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> hey. Jump up the hand that can, uh, do not jump. Instead, you want to um, open the container. Use <laughs> what have you done, and he'll uh, run away. What a dick! You can you can find out you'll intentionally fail the the task, and and our hero will come save us. This is the part that has very bad pathfinding. There's a common bug where Red Schwartz is unable to get to your location. He'll just walk around in circles, which is incredibly horrific of a bug. Uh, did is he doing it now? I hope not. Oh, is he coming up the stairs? Looks like he is. Ah, oh, thank God. So he's gonna come up the stairs right here. And this is another very bad, pa uh, very bad scripting area. Um, he says, "Give me your hand, dude," but you don't really know how to. You don't really know how to do that. To get up from, to get up, you want to go right underneath it, right underneath him, and then jump. 
and he'll lift you up. This is extremely hard on the OGSE version. It's I almost rage quit the game because of how horrible this section was, so just try to keep your head cool. Thankfully, it seems more stable in the OGSR version, which is the one I'm playing. And he'll walk over here, make sure to make sure to make a quick save so you never have to go through that sequence again. And he'll lead you to the door and you're able to talk with him after a second. There we go. Talk. Man, thank you for your help. Some exposition. And he'll unlock the door in a second and you're supposed to um, follow him. You'll finally complete the task, Failed Side Picnic, after all that time in Corden. And make sure to protect him. There we go. He'll unlock the door. It'll unlock after a second. There we go. You want to follow him. Make sure to make saves if there are uh, pathfinding breaks, because it does often. <laughs> does often. Here we go. Make sure to avoid the anomalies. Red Schwartz will very obviously fall into a trap. Like, come on, how do you miss that? And if you talk to him about it, he'll say, leave him behind and go find a the uh, the cure for the uh, uh, the virus you have in your body. And you have two options. You can either leave him, uh, leave him to die and go find the cure for the virus you have in your body, or you can try to help save him. Never pick this option. Always try to save him because it's just completely better. You saved my life. I won't leave you here. And, um, and, uh, and you're able to save him by turning on the fan. And you're able to do that, and it starts a task, Chili wins. You're able to do that by going over to, to turn on the power, by going over here, make a right, make a left, you'll have another anomaly here. Make sure to return to the safe after completing the quest. It has some pretty good loot in it. You'll have an anomaly spawn right here. Try to jump over it using those stairs. And you want to go up. To turn on the power right here, you'll see this panel. Power up the exhaust fan. There we go. And you want to go actually turn on the fan itself to uh, um, suck up all the toxic gas. No, my suit is damaged. I'm going to die now. Um, Want to go power up the fan. Turn on the exhaust fan, and you'll have a um, you'll have a timer for the air to pump out. Make sure to load up your shotgun or weapon because the snorks will try to uh, attack you. Wait a minute. I'm gonna skip until this minute is done. Be right back. All right, the uh, air out, air pump out is almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. And 
the tasks get updated and you're able to save Red Schwartz, he'll start running to the uh, exit. That's a pretty bad blood streak. Follow him to the exit. That ain't good. And here, you'll have the task updated. Task complete, Shelly wins, and He'll have nothing to say, so let's go up to the surface. Once you're at the surface, you're able to talk with him. How are you feeling? Um, I think you need some medical treatment and rest, and you have to go get the cure. And he'll go back to the shelter. God damn it, one second. <laughs> like I said before, um, after talk talking with him, he'll head back to the shelter while he'll mark a... Um, please do not kill me again. Um, he'll mark a stash on your location right here called Schwartz Stash with Vaccine. You want to go to that location, so let's go to it. I'll, I'm going to skip there, be right back. Once you're at the truck, you'll find some Tashankos and Boars here, so make sure not to let them kill you. And you're able to get into this truck... Um, by just um, making a good jump and you're able to find a car wheel and inside you'll find the experimental vaccine. You want to drink it. It's this little bottle right here. Once you drink it, you're able to head back to the base to finally finish up the mission. Oh, there he is. He may have a little. He may have a little trouble getting uh, go, going through the door. So make sure to open up the door for him. There we go. And once he enters inside. He gets settled down and you're able to talk with him. How are your legs? And get some exposition. And you'll complete you'll complete the you'll complete the agribum underground area and you'll start the new quest fire, water, and copper pipes, which is a miscellaneous quest. And that's the whole quest line complete. I hope this uh, video helped you because this uh, this video, I mean, this quest has a bunch of script errors and scripting sh shenanigans. So I hope you're able to do this quest without too much issue. That's all I wanted to share with you. See ya.